Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's big story is Google fighting with China's biggest SSL certificate authority. Over the past few days, Google has been investigating some fraudulent digital certificates. Basically, they found a, an Egyptian company that was using unauthorized Google digital certificates in a man-in-the-middle attack. They've tracked down those certificates and said they came from CNNIC, which stands for China Internet Network Information Center. They're the biggest web registrar that actually releases digital certificates to companies in China. And they're also a root digital certificate authority. You may realize that SSL is really based on a trust system where root authorities have validated the digital certificates websites use. So when you see that green lock on a website, we're trusting other authorities to tell us that these certificates are really legitimate. In either case, Google has accused a CNET of issuing these fraudulent or unauthorized digital certificates. And basically, in last night's blog post, they say they're no longer going to trust the validity of new CNNIC digital certificates. On the flip side, if you are a customer that bought a certificate from this company, they will honor old certificates. Now, Google does say if CNNIC cleans up their security, they can reapply as a certificate authority. But right now, Google's taking a pretty hard stance of not accepting those digital certificates. In any case, it's a fascinating story and hopefully it should remind you that this whole SSL or secure website system is really based on a trust circle. And there are cracks in this trust circle besides these sort of certificate authorities that may sometimes issue fraudulent certificates. There's also cases where uh, certificate authorities have been breached in the DG Notar or Komodo cases. So it's really kind of a fragile system that relies on some third party to maintain that trust. Anyways, just thought it was interesting. If you're a Chrome user in China, you might want to consider this. There's really uh, no news of other browsers like Safari or Microsoft or Firefox of removing CNIC. So this is something that should only affect Chrome users right now. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.